welcome back to Sydney. Jermaine Taylor out of Little Rock, Arkansas in the ring, as is Adnan Kantish of Germany, ready to go in this light middleweight quarterfinal matchup. The day did not begin on a bright note for the United States. Jose Navarro losing in the quarterfinals, but they have come on. Victories by Ricardo Williams Jr. And then Rocky Juarez with a sensational win over the defending 96 gold medalist Samla Kamsing of Thailand. In fact, Juarez with 31 points. That's the highest score to this point in the competition. So now Jermaine Taylor, who easily swept through the 2000 U.S. trials in one of America's relatively weaker weight classes, will try to advance to the semis. Adnan Kottish, the 1998-99 German champion, won his first round bout 10-6, and in a second bout just overwhelmed Richard Rolls of Australia, 16-1, invoking the 15-point rule. That stopped the bout in the third round. Taylor in the red, and Kottish in the blue. Kottish a good, solid, tough opponent for Taylor. The people back home watching want something to look for. Look to see if Taylor uses that jab and throws the right hand straight. Doesn't lose it. When he throws it straight, he's a better, more accurate fighter. And there it was nice and straight. Scoring blow for Jermaine Taylor to get the early lead. Another thing to look for as far as Taylor goes, not to load up with one shot, with only the right hand. He has other skills. He's got a good left hand, throws a good counter left hook. Mix it up. He's a boxer with a uh, slugger's mentality. Does have a tendency to get wild, as we saw earlier in the tournament, and can get involved in a shootout. I don't think that's what is on the mind of Kottish, though. Taylor has a good repertoire of punches when he uses them. Just a moment ago, you saw that good counter left hook. And he can throw a good right uppercut when the moment presents itself. Well, you saw Taylor swing wildly, and that, that cost him, leading to the caution for turning his back. Exactly, Mark. Not only do you miss when you load up with those wide punches, you leave yourself in position to be counted. Taylor opened up last week with a first round knockout against the uh, Bulgarian, Dmitry Usagin. Second bout this past Saturday, beat the Canadian Scott McIntosh easily 23 to nine. So he's been impressive over the first two rounds. Cottage is very steady, nothing fancy, nothing, not one area is he sensational. He's just nice and steady. Gets himself in position. He's looking to time the quick tell. Jermaine Taylor with a 7-4 lead after the first round. Jermaine Taylor trying to join teammates, Bantamweight, Clarence Benson, light welterweight, Carter Williams Jr., featherweight Rocky Juarez in the semifinals. As a jab, the straight right hand, and finishing with the left hook, Jermaine Taylor. And there was a show of the looping right hand. Showing both right hands that time, Jermaine Taylor. Jermaine Taylor began boxing at the age of 12, also ran track in high school in Little Rock. The University of Arkansas had interest in Jermaine as a, as a track man, but his first love was boxing, so he headed to Northern Michigan University, one of several American boxers attending Northern Michigan. That's a very good program, a terrific idea by the Olympic Committee. It allows young men to get an education if they athletically are inclined and they continue training towards the Olympics, they get an opportunity to get a free education and terrific training facility where they can concentrate on what they have to do. Meanwhile, hey, Kantish has, has come on. He's within one point. And a caution 
against Contes for leading with his head. He's doing it the old-fashioned way. Got it. He gets into position, and he looks to punch at the right time. His reach is not as long as Taylor's. He is not as quick as Taylor. He is nice and steady. He sees things well. He knows when to punch, like right there. He allowed Taylor to commit himself, get out of position, then he attacked. Taylor cautioned for a hold. Just under one minute left in the second round. Cottage knows what he can do and what he can't do. He stays with him, within himself, very well. And he's always thinking. He has to. He doesn't have tremendous athletic ability or tremendous physical assets. Cottage able to tie it momentarily. Jermaine Taylor landing the right and again for the two-point lead. Taylor out of Little Rock, Arkansas in the red and Adnan Kottish from Germany in the blue. Kottish trying to back up Taylor and again knows he's not faster seeing if he can use timing to take away the speed advantage of Taylor. Watch how Kottish will sneak himself into position and then look to time the punches of Taylor. Main Taylor with the four-point edge after two rounds. Waiting in the wings is Dimitan Ibramov out of Kazakhstan, who eliminated Juan Hernandez of Cuba. The Cubans losing their fourth straight bout in the quarterfinals. Both guys tangled up on the inside. Taylor letting a punch go as they break. And there's the long right hand of Taylor reaching just a little bit. The referee said, wait. Go away. Go to the white corner. To the time, go away. That way the time, go away. You got more time. 